Hey guys, Lee Powered RC here today, and I'm hoping this will be a quick video. This is just an overview about the smart programming box made for the Avion's speed controllers. I've got a 30 amp controller right here. I just got in the mail yesterday. There we go. It does 3 cell to 6 cell. It's got a uh, lead that normally would just plug into your receiver. But down here in the bottom, it's got a plug-in where you, they give you this servo lead, and you just plug it in. Um, black goes to the black side, white to the red side. Um, I guess it matters. I, I didn't try it the other way, but anyway, you can, if you don't have it in the plane, or even if you did, I guess, um, you can just plug these leads in. It says right here on the end, battery, EXC. USB, which they do provide a USB cable if you just want to use that for power, but the easiest way um, to do this is to plug plug it in and then take your battery for your speed controller, plug that in, it'll come on, uh, say Horizon, it's got the firmware date on it, version, and just hit, I think you can hit any button, connecting, Connecting uh, ESC, there's a software version, and then here's your uh, different modes that you have. Um, wondering if it'd be better with my light off, <clears throat> but anyway, you got fixed wing, you can change that if you need to. You got brake type, I've got it disabled, which is factory, brake force, which is set to zero right now. There we go. Um, cutoff type, soft cutoff is default, which I like. Auto calc for your lipo cells to know what battery you got plugged in. That's defaulted to that. Cutoff voltage, um, I actually did change that up to 3.6 volts as I don't like running my batteries way low. BEC voltage, you can go from 6.0 to 7.4. Um, level at 6. Startup time soft default timings 15 which is default the little star right here next to the number tell you the default uh, motor rotation if you don't want to have to change your two wires around you can come in here and switch it there um, active freewheeling for your motor spinning when you go to low throttle the default and then you can restore um, not very much to it Pretty simple, there's no videos I could find on the web about it on YouTube, so I thought I'd make one real quick and show it to you. Pretty uh, pretty neat box. Hey, you can also check your voltages of your batteries with this thing. So, uh, not at the same time, of course, but if you unplug your battery. Now, this one's backwards from every other uh, cell trick I've ever used. All my cell triggers plug in this way. Well, this one, you turn the plug upside down. Plug it in from over here on this side, and there it is. I'll show you the total voltage, and then your uh, independent cell voltage is there. So, hope y'all uh, found this video handy, helpful. If you've not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I've got over 200 subscribers so far, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for being here. There's always good... Uh, some kind of new video RC related on my channel. So browse my channel. Check out some videos. Um, and um, again, glad to have you here. Thank you for watching. Have a, have a great day. And I hope you're staying safe with your uh, family through this time that we're going through. Catch y'all later.